y'all. Happy Thursday. Uh, I wanted to come on here and talk about uh, two things. I wanted to talk about uh, first my non-scale victory. Those, um, a lot of times we don't think about when we're trying to lose weight. We focus on the number on the scale. I'm really guilty of that. Um, but a little non-scale victory. My wedding rings fit again. I had gotten down to uh, 180 pounds back in 2008. That was when I was working at Walmart. I was constantly walking. I was a customer service manager. Never stood still. The whole eight hours, I was constantly just walking and walking and walking. No telling how many miles a day I was walking. Um, even on my lunch break, I had an hour lunch break. And uh, I would only eat within 30 minutes. And then the other 30 minutes, I would go out and I'd walk and exercise. So I had lost. I had gotten down... I think, let's see, I had started in like January of that year, and by May, I think I had lost 60 pounds. Is Yeah, I had lost 60 pounds in I think five months is, is how I, yeah, that's that's how I done it. Um, well, I had done it with a low calorie diet. It wasn't extreme as I'm doing now. I'm older now, and I'm not as active. I don't have a job that is physically walking around, so I'm having to do more drastic. Anywho. I wore a size 6 forever. See, it's not it's not too snug at all. It fits perfect. I'm not having to struggle to get on and off. I wore a size 6, and then when I had lost the weight, I um, needed to get it sized down to a 5.5. So, uh, I went and I got it sized so it wouldn't fall off. And then when I quit my job, uh, t see, I quit my job in 2010. After I quit my job, then the weight slowly, over the past uh, 8 years, went back up to 242. I mentioned this before, my highest weight ever not pregnant was 246. My highest weight pregnant and actually pregnant with Anna Claire was 252. So uh, 2016, July 2016, I weighed 252. Beginning of this year, I weighed in at 242 in January. I think it was Oh, January 6th, I think, is when I weighed 242 or something like that. So, for the year, uh, let's see. Yeah. For the year, I was trying to find where I had it written down. For the year so far, I have lost 24 pounds for the year. I have not been dieting the whole year. I lost 9 pounds when I got my hysterectomy. Like, right before I got my hysterectomy and right after, I had lost 9 pounds. I've lost... 15 pounds since in the past five or six weeks since I've started back dieting just trying different things This week doing my liquid diet. I've only been on it for three days. I've lost uh, 4.6 pounds Hold on a minute. Let me go turn that TV down. I feel like it's getting louder I think Anna Claire got a hold of the uh, remote and turned the volume up. Hold on just a minute. Okay, so um, In the past three days, I've lost 4.6. I think that's where I left off I've been doing um, liquid diet since Monday, and mainly I've been staying under 500 calories. I'm usually around 480, 490. Um, what I've been doing is drinking two or three of the Atkins shakes, and then sometimes I have a yogurt, the um, Activia yogurt, and I think it's 90 calories. Uh, mixed berries so far is my favorite flavor of it. I don't really care for the black cherry, and I love black cherry, but for some reason the Activia black cherry just tastes weird to me. I don't know if it leaves a bad taste aftertaste or something. I'm not sure. I am still doing my my water and I've lost it. I don't know where I've set it down. I've set it down somewhere. I don't know. Hopefully I didn't leave it in there where any player can get a hold of it. Let me go check that real quick. Hold on. So I am still doing my infused water. Um my go to is orange strawberries and mint. I do have lime in this but the lime is like overtaking it. So next time I make it, I'm not going to have lime in there. I think usually I put one lime wedge in there, but I put two in there this time. And I think it's overpowering and taking over so it tastes just like lime. So I'm going to dump that and start over. Anyway, um, I drink two to three uh, Atkins protein shakes. And then sometimes I have, I think she's watching something and making make noise. Anyway, sorry. I'm like, squirrel. <laughs> Let me focus on the video. Okay. Uh, I do sometimes, I, or one time, I had the uh, Lipton Onion Soup Mix. It's not really Lipton brand, but, uh, yeah. 
I did have one of these. I know this says dip and recipe mix, but well, it says onion soup. I uh, I had this, and I just put it in a um, what is insulated? I don't have it on me right now. What is insulated like coffee mugs? I just put it in there, and it probably took me because it was so hot. Uh, as it cooled down, it probably took me a good two or three hours to uh, to drink that. I don't know if she's playing with a toy that phone is ringing or what, but it's kind of distracting me. Sorry about that. Anyway, um, I only felt the need to do that that one day where I kind of felt like I wanted something salty. I don't know if I'll do that again. But, uh, you know, you've got uh, beef broth you can do. You can do chicken broth. Or you could probably just do soup because it is so mushy to begin with. You know, anything that's liquid, and um, just try to keep it, if you want to try this, just try to keep it under 800 calories. You don't have to go 500 calories like I'm doing. I'm just trying to get the weight off. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just sick of the weight. I've battled with it all my life. I'm just like, I just want to get the weight off and then just work on maintaining. And, um, I'm sorry guys. I've tried to make this video about four or five times. Uh. When I get my first goal that I have set for myself is to get to 208. So I'm at within 10 pounds of 208. When I get to 208, I think what I'm going to do is take a week or two. I'm not sure. I just have to kind of fill myself out, see how it goes. I want to try to maintain that weight. So I probably will go back on a 1200 calorie, 1200 calorie or less. Probably won't go up to 1400 calories. I think 1400 calories I would start gaining. But I think a 1,000 to 1,200 calorie diet, kind of like I, what I was on before, just to try to maintain my weight. And then I will start back on something else to get myself down to 196. I want to get back down, I want to get down to 196. And then after I get to 196, I will probably try to maintain a little bit for a week or two. I just got to play it out, see how I go, and see how it goes. And then probably try to lose some more. I don't, I really have not set a goal goal weight for myself. Um, I want to say 174 is what I'm supposed to be at to be considered a healthy weight. But of course, muscle weighs more than fat. So really, I think 180, when I got down to 180, I was a size 10. So really, if I if I get down to 180 and I don't ever lose any, if I if I can't lose another pound, I think I'm gonna call it good. I mean, 180 is close enough. I know it's still considered overweight, but a size 10, I think, for my height and everything, I think is perfectly fine. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I was gonna talk about. I don't know. This video was longer a while ago, but I think it was because I was getting interrupted. And I was forgetting what I was saying. So I was saying it over and over again. Um, oh, I know what I was, something I was going to say. This weekend, I think what I'm going to try on weekends is what is known as the Warrior Diet. I talked about it a little bit in the previous video. But basically, you drink water pretty much all day long. I probably will have one soda in there just to give me some caffeine to keep me from getting a headache. And, um, of course, diet soda. Zero calories. And uh, we're going to go to the Cheesecake Factory this weekend for um, in honor of Father's Day. We're going to go Saturday instead of Sunday. We haven't decided if we're all going or if it's just me and Brian. We're going on a date night. Not sure. Because our Cheesecake Factory is on the outside of, of our mall. So we might go to the mall and walk around a little bit and look at the shops and stuff and then go eat. But anyway, um, I want to save my calories for that. And probably I'll only have three to four bites of the cheesecake itself just to keep my calories down i think a whole slice of cheesecake is like depending on what you get is 12 to 1400 calories so if i ate half of that it'd be 700 calories so probably one fourth of that would be about 350 because i still for that one meal i still want to try to stay under 1200 calories i don't want to go hog wild and be like oh well this is my one meal and eat you know 2,400 calories or something, you know. Um, I wonder what else I had talked about. Uh, I, and I think I've mentioned this before. I've been reading, you know, articles and stories on weight loss and stuff. And Dolly Parton said how she lost her weight because she was a yo-yo dieter. She had given herself, she could eat what she wants to, but a small portion of it. So, like, if she really wanted something, she would eat two to three bites of it just to satisfy her taste buds. Um, 
Brewster's Ice Cream is something we eat almost every weekend, and I just found out this past weekend that they now have uh, kids cups. So instead of getting a cup of ice cream and saying one scoop, but they fill the whole thing up, they just do a small scoop and it, it's just like half the size. So that really helps save on my calories. I did that this past weekend. I told Brian, I was like, oh, this is awesome. Cause I could just start doing this. And that way I don't feel like my whole family's enjoying stuff. And I'm just sitting here on the sidelines drinking a protein shake. I'm, I'm enjoying my time with them and I'm enjoying um, being able to have a little bit of it too. Um, without sacrificing so many calories. So I think that's what I'm going to do is try to do, and I might do the same thing when we go out to eat. A lot of times what's good, this is a good diet tip too. Not necessarily diet, but just a healthy tip. Portions are so huge when you go to a restaurant. If you go to a restaurant, it's good to go ahead and ask for a to-go box and put half of your food in there. And then um, if you know that you're not going to eat it, then give it to your parents or give it to a friend, whatever, they can eat the rest of it. Um, I think that's what I'm going to start doing. Like when I go to the Cheesecake Factory, I'll go ahead and ask or I'll, or I'll just eat visually half of it and then take the rest of it, bring it home and probably let my parents have it. And I probably will eat pretty light. I'll probably do soup in the sandwich. Um, that's what I kind of like anyway because it's summertime. I love the soup, salad, and sandwich type stuff. When it gets winter time, that's probably when it'll be harder for me not to eat pasta. I love pasta. I, I really am a bread eater. I'm sorry, my nose. I think because I'm going out in the heat and then coming in, it just, the change of temperature is making my nose run. Um, I'm really, in the summertime, I love soups and salads and um, I don't want to say breadsticks, but sandwiches. Or uh, a sandwich and soup or a salad and sandwich, whatever combination. But I think that's probably what I'll do. Um, I mean, like I said, I'll have just a few bites of the cheesecake so I can enjoy it and enjoy, you know, my date night with my husband or my family time if we all go. Uh, the big thing is try not to feel like you're depriving yourself 24-7. Monday through Friday, I'm at work and I'm kind of busy most of the time. So it's not a big deal for me to stick to a diet. But on weekends, you know, when you go out on your family stuff, that's when it's hard to stick to it. So if you just tell yourself, I don't like, I can have this. But just don't go hog wild and just have a small portion of it. Uh, I think that's what I'm pretty much going to try to do, though, is just get the weight off, then maintain, then maybe get some more weight off, and then maintain. But I'm just ecstatic that I'm within 10 pounds of just being overweight. So I'm almost not obese. <laughs> I don't want to be obese. I just want to be overweight. And I know that's, that's kind of funny because most people are like, I don't want to be overweight. I just want to be a healthy weight. But... Right now, I just want to get, I'm working on that small goal of just getting to just being overweight. Um, I'm not sure when I'll make another video. I, I know Tuesday, of course, when I have my weigh-in, I'll make another video and I'll update how the warrior diet went. And um, hopefully I won't see a weight gain going from 500 calories to 1,200 calories on the weekend. We will see. Uh, I was kind of thinking of actually asking my husband because Somebody was talking about spaghetti the other night. I thought, you know, I had not had spaghetti in months. I might make spaghetti, and that might be my one meal on Sunday for Father's Day. Maybe. I'm not 100% sure. We might decide to go out as a family and, and go somewhere and do something for Father's Day. I don't know. But uh, one of these days, I think I do want some spaghetti. I haven't had any in a while. Uh, Cheesecake Factory might have some. I might try spaghetti at Cheesecake Factory. But, again, that's pasta, and I'm really trying not to have the pasta. The pasta and the bread all turned straight to sugar. So I'm still trying to get myself to eat healthy. Oh, something else. I'm trying to think in my mind when I get to my goal is how exactly I want to eat. I think what I wanted to eventually do is have, in the morning, have oatmeal. Because there is oatmeal I had that was very high in fiber. And that will help me get my fiber. I want to make sure... I'm eating something from all the food groups. I'm not saying the food pyramid because um, some research I've done, they've actually said that you shouldn't go by the food pyramid, that uh, you would probably overeat your calories. And I don't know. I don't know. For, from what I've heard, it's actually best to try not to eat, all, eat how the food pyramid says. But I do want to try to get myself, eventually, when I get in my maintenance, I want to have a healthy diet. And then, like I said, on weekends, I allow myself to have those sugary treats. 
but in a smaller portion. It's just kind of how my, what my thinking is, where my mind is right now. Uh, and now I'm starting to ramble. But I think that's it for now. I will, uh, like I said, I'm not sure if I'll make a video this weekend. We might, if we, if it doesn't rain, we might do some activities outside. I might make a video. I don't know. But I will see, see y'all when I see you. Um, happy Father's Day early to all the fathers. Um, uh, let's see. I think that's it. And I will talk to y'all later. Love y'all. Bye.